गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे दिस इज नुजरात सना आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी एट्थ ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स दैट वील बी कवरिंग इन टूडेज सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डोंग फिंग हंड्रेड क्रूज मिसाइल After that, we will see gender-based violence, Hojagiri, single girl child, merit scholarship program, Narasa Puram lace belong to which Indian state, and why it came into news. And at last, we'll talk about some UNESCO World Heritage sites. Okay. So now, without taking any further time, let's get started. The first question is, Dong Feng Hundred, which was seen in the news, is a supersonic cruise missile of which country? The correct answer is C option, China. Why it came into news? Because China has recently increased the range of its supersonic cruise missile, Dong Feng Hundred, also known as Chang Xian Hundred. Okay, so it was introduced during the China's 70th National Parade Day in the year 2019, and DF Hundred is designed for precision strikes on diverse targets, including the land-based infrastructure, bunkers, and the large warship. So it is a land-based system with a range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers. Also, it can be launched from the bombers, and the missile is over nine meters long with a payload capacity of 500 plus kilogram. So it is powered by a ramjet engine, and it reaches the Mach 5 speed in its terminal phase. Okay, so Dong Feng 100 is a supersonic cruise missile of China country. Fine. Now in the next slide we'll be talking about some defense current affairs. The first one is what type of weapon is the iron beam which was developed by Israel country. So it is a high energy laser weapon system and don't forget that iron beam uh, belong to which country it is uh, the product of Israel. Vajra Sentinel system is related to which one of the following it is an anti drone system. Recently India's first indigenously made 1500 horsepower engine for main battle tanks was test fired at which place it was test fired at Mysore recently DRDO conducted a successful flight test of the indigenous technology cruise missile at which place the answer here is Chandipur in the state of Odisha Agni 4 missile is developed by which organization it is developed by DRDO which indian naval ship presently arrived at the port of colombo for a 3 day maiden visit to sri lanka this is ins mumbai recently indian army aviation corps has established its first apache attack helicopter unit at which place this is jodhpur in the state of rajasthan okay question number 2 is what is the name of the campaign launched in india to eliminate the gender based violence the correct answer is c option up koi bahana nahi campaign okay So this campaign was initiated on 25th of November to stop the gender based violence in India. It is a collaborative effort involving ministries of women and child development along with the ministry of rural development, okay? Also it is supported by United Nations Women and it coincides with the 16 days of activism against the gender based violence. and the campaign underscores a national zero tolerance stance and it calls for accountability from all the stakeholders emphasizing the urgent need for action against the violence towards women and girls okay so ab koi bahana nahi uh, campaign was launched in india to eliminate the gender based violence okay in the next slide we'll be seeing some national news the first question is recently the central railway has inaugurated its first ever floating solar plant with a 10 megawatt capacity in which lake of india so first ever floating solar plant has been installed at igatpuri lake nambike nakshe scheme is introduced by which indian state this scheme belongs to karnataka retel power project is situated on which river of jammu and kashmir it lies on chenab river tehri hydro power plant is located on which river basin answer is bhagirathi river Recently the Prime Minister of India laid the foundation stone of PM Mitra Park in which region of Maharashtra this is Amravati Recently the Armed Forces Medical Services signed a memorandum of understanding with which IIT to collaborate on research and training this is IIT Hyderabad 
recently which state organized a 3 days of nakshatra sabha to promote the astro tourism in the region so nakshatra sabha has been organized by uttarakhand to promote the astro tourism okay next is hojagiri folk dance is associated with which tribe the correct answer is b option ring community it is also known as bru and recently it has demanded a holiday in tripura on the occasion of hojagiri day celebrating their traditional dance so rings are the second largest tribal community in tripura and these are the states only pvtg means particularly vulnerable tribal group they are found in tripura mizoram and assam with a population of around 188080 members and the rings trace their origins to shan state in myanmar and later on they migrated to tripura in different waves fine so hojagiri folk dance is associated with ring tribe okay in the next slide we'll be talking about some important art and culture related current affairs gulal gota is a traditional festival of which city it is celebrated in jaipur rajasthan what are vira gallu that were recently seen in the news these are the memorial stones that commemorate the deaths of heroes in battle what is vatte zuthu recently seen in the news many times we have talked about it it is a syllabic alphabet what are geoglyphs and petroglyphs recently seen in the news these are ancient art forms 90th festival brahmotsavam is celebrated at which temple annually this festival is celebrated at tirumala tirupati shri venkateshwara temple next is baishya karst cave is located in which region this cave lies in tibetan plateau which ministry recently organized the kaveri meets ganga program under amrit parampara initiative this is ministry of culture okay question number 4 is which organization recently introduced the single girl child merit scholarship scheme the correct answer is a option central board of secondary education cbse has recently introduced the merit scholarship scheme for single girl child and the scheme supports meritorious female students who are the only children of their parents okay also the condition is that they must have secured 60% plus in class 10 and continue their education in classes 11 or 12 so basically it encourages the parents efforts in promoting the girls education and it provides the financial help as well the here the eligibility criteria is that it should be single girl child and indian nationalist as well 60% plus in cbse class 10 and they must be studying in cbse affiliated schools with tuition fees less than 1500 rupees per month and the scholarship is given like 500 rupees per month for up to 2 years which is also reduceable with 50% marks in class 11 exam and uh, the last condition is that family income must be uh, less than 8 lakh rupees per year okay so cbse means central board of secondary education has recently introduced the single girl child merit scholarship scheme fine now in the next slide we'll be talking about some important government schemes that were in news in the past few weeks carbon credit trading scheme is an initiative of which ministry this scheme belongs to power ministry niyad nalanar scheme is associated with which indian state this scheme belongs to chatisgarh PM Kusum means Prime Minister Kisan Urja Suraksha Yojana Uthan Ab Mahabhiyan scheme comes under which ministry it functions under Ministry of New and Renewable Energy revamped pharmaceuticals technology upgradation assistance scheme is introduced by which ministry it is introduced by Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers Ullas initiative is related to which one of the following sectors answer is education sector which state government recently launched the darshini program to offering immersive educational tours to the student this is telangana what is the name of the scheme recently approved by bihar government to improve the rural infrastructure this is mukhyamantri gramin setu nirman yojana theek hai question number 5 is narsapuram lace craft which was recently secured the gi tag is from which indian state the correct answer is c option andhra pradesh This lace craft belonged to Andhra Pradesh and recently it has received the prestigious GI tag. This craft originated around 150 years ago. It is created by women who are from the farming community and it survived the Indian famine of 1899 along with the Great Depression of 1929 as well. And by the early 1900s over 2000 women were involved in this craft and the lace is made with thin threads and crochet needles to create the items like doilies pillow covers 
and the bed spread. So the lace products of uh, Narsapur are exported to the different countries like US, UK and France. Okay. So this uh, product has recently secured the GI tag and it belongs to C option Andhra Pradesh state. In the next slide, let's see some environment and biodiversity related news. The first one is Khandwa forest is located in which Indian state? This forest is found to be in Madhya Pradesh. Which organization conducted the study on the disruption of genetic connectivity of large herbivores, the Gaur and Sambar? The organization here is NCBS, National Center for Biological Sciences. Indira Gandhi Zoological Park is located in which Indian state? It is found in Andhra Pradesh. In which tiger reserve was a herpetofauna survey conducted that recorded 33 reptile species and 36 amphibian species. So herpetofauna survey was conducted at Mudu Malai Tiger Reserve that lies in Tamil Nadu. Which tiger reserve of Maharashtra recently reported, reported the first photographic record of the spot bellied eagle owl. This is the Pinch Tiger Reserve. Pinch Tiger Reserve is found in uh, Maharashtra as well as in Madhya Pradesh as well. Dead Sea which was seen in the news is located between which two countries? It is found in between Israel and Jordan. What is Scranum andricum that was seen in the news recently? It is a new species of the flowering plant. Okay. Question number six is which organization released the report titled as Choosing Our Future Education for Climate Action? So this report is given by A Option World Bank and uh, here this report highlights how the climate change disrupts education and emphasizes its role in the climate action. So climate change causes the school closures with affected schools losing an average of 11 instruction days yearly, particularly in the low income countries. So climate awareness is only about 65% in the low and the middle income countries indicating a significant information gap here. And the global green transitions need some skilled workers for 100 million new jobs, upskilling for existing jobs and reskilling for 78 million disappearing jobs. So in India, climate education boosts the pro-climate behaviors among children and their parents by 13%. Fine. Simply uh, do remember the Choosing Our Future report is released by A Option World Bank. In the next slide, let's see some important reports and indices. The first one is Building Better India's Path to Superior Quality Infrastructure Report was recently launched by which organization? This report is presented by GTRI Global Trade Research Initiative. Which bank recently unveiled its Climate Strategy 2030 document which aims to address India's need for green financing? Answer here is NABARD. Global Trade Outlook and Statistics Report recently released by which organization? This report is released by the World Trade Organization. Which organization recently released the Future of Financial Advice Report? It is given by World Economic Forum. Recently, which organization released the updated Integrated Fire Management Voluntary Guidelines, Principles and Strategic Action? It is given by Food and Agriculture Organization. A World of Debt, A Growing Burden to Global Prosperity Report recently seen in the news was prepared by which organization? It is prepared by United Nations Trade and Development. Fair Share for Health and Care Report is launched by which organization? It is given by World Health Organization. Question number 7 is Balbek, Tyre and Anjar which were recently mentioned in the news are the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of which country? The correct answer is B option, Lebanon. These are the UNESCO cultural heritage sites of the country, Lebanon. And why they came into news? Because currently they are facing threats from repeated assault. Now, if you talk about the Balbek, it is a prime example of imperial Roman architecture, which showcases massive structure. Secondly, if you talk about the Tyre, which is a historic Phoenician city, it was once dominated the seas and founded colonies like Cadiz and Carthage. Okay. Also, it is linked to the invention of purple dye. And at third, there is Anjar, which is founded by Caliph uh, Walid I in the 8th century. It has the ruins that display the remarkable city planning from the Umayyad era and it resembles the ancient palace cities. Fine. So, do remember that Balbek, Tyre, and Anjar, these are the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of the country Lebanon. Okay. In the next slide, we will be seeing some important international news. The first one is 
Oak Hearst Rock Shelter recently seen in the news due to the discovery of ancient genomes is located in which country? This rock shelter is found to be in South Africa. Which country has recently proposed to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug? This is the country US. India recently signed an agreement with which country to operate a large research hub in New Delhi? It is the country Russia. Bedouin community belongs to which country? This community belongs to Israel. Nature Africa initiative is related to which organization? Answer is European Union. Project 2025 is related to which country? It is related to USA. Which country has supported the BIMSTEC charter recently? This is the country Nepal. Question number 8 is National Milk Day is observed every year on which important day? The correct answer is D option 26th of November. Actually, the Department of Animal Husbandry and Rearing celebrates the National Milk Day on 26th of November 2024 at the Maniksha Center in New Delhi. And this event honors the 103rd birth anniversary of Dr. Varghese Kurian, who is the father of white revolution. So this event celebrates India's leadership in the global dairy sector. Here focus is on sustainability and collaboration. Okay. So National Milk Day is observed every year on 26th of November. Fine. Talking about the white revolution, what was the main aim of the white revolution? So basic aim was to increase the milk production and which organization was set up under the white revolution this is nddb means national dairy development board now in the next slide we'll be talking about important days and events the first question is india skills competition 2024 which is the country's biggest skilling program recently started at which place this program started at new delhi when is the International Week of Science and Peace celebrated? Answer is 9th of November to 15th of November. Which IIT and Prasar Bharati hosted the two-day robot competition DD Robocon India 2024? This is IIT Delhi. Recently, the Blue Leaders high-level event on biodiversity beyond national jurisdiction was held in which country? It was held in Belgium. Recently, where was the 17th edition of Divya Kala Mela held? Answer is Raipur. What is the theme of International Labour Day 2024? The theme was ensuring safety and health at work in a changing climate. And last is which day is observed as National Epilepsy Day every year. This is 17th of November. Okay. Question number 9 is which country won the Billie Jean King Cup 2024? The winner of this championship is the option Italy. Okay. Italy has won the Billie Jean King Cup 2024. 24 defeating the country Slovakia in the finals here Jasmine Paolini secured the victory by beating the Rebecca Saramkova and if we talk about the Billie Jean K King Cup it, it was originally called as the Federation Cup and it began in 1963 to mark the 50th anniversary of International Tennis Federation and the 61st edition of this tournament was held in Spain from 14th to 20th of November and the Billie Jean King Cup is the top international team competition in women's tennis right so what is the venue for billy jean king cup answer is spain and which country is the winner of this cup it is italy and by defeating which country they have won this championship so answer it slovakia okay in the next slide we'll be talking about some sport related news and here the first question is Recently, where was the Asian Track Cycling Championship 2024 organized? It was organized in New Delhi. What is the objective of Know Your Medicine application that was launched by Nata India? Basic objective of this application is to educate the athletes and the coaches about anti-doping. Recently, who won the National Women's Carom title for the 12th time? This is Rashmi Kumari. Recently, Jyoti Berwal won which medal in the women's 76 kgs freestyle category at the under 20 world championships. This is a gold medal. Which country secured the silver medal at the Maruhaba Cup a team event at the Asian Surfing Championships 2024? This is the country India. Who has become the first Indian to be appointed a jury member at the 33rd Summer Olympics 2024, which is to be held in Paris? This is Bilki Smir. And last is Ashwini Ponappa, who recently announced her retirement is associated with which sport? So answer is badminton. Okay. Now the last question says, National Gopal Ratna Awards 2024 are awarded by which ministry? 
The correct answer is C option, Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. National Gopal Ratna Awards 2024 winners were recently announced by the Department of Animal Husbandry and Daring that works under Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring. It is one of the highest national honors in the livestock and dairy sector and these awards are presented to the winners of the best dairy farmer rearing the indigenous cattle or buffalo breeds, best artificial insemination technician and best dairy cooperative society, milk producer company, dairy farmer producer organization in the country. Okay. So do remember that National Gopal Ratna Awards 2024 are given by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring. Okay. Now in the last slide, we'll be talking about some important questions regarding awards and honors. And here the first one is, which Indian writer was awarded with the Erasmus Prize 2024 for highlighting the climate change crisis? This is Amitav Ghosh, very famous writer. Which state's tourism recently won the Pata Gold Award 2024 for innovative holiday heist campaign? This is the Kerala tourism. Luis Montenegro became the new prime minister of which country? The answer is Portugal. Recently, who became the first black leader of a government in the UK? Answer is Vaughan Getting. Next is Sundar Rajan Padma Nabhan, who recently passed away, was former chief of which armed force? This is Indian Army. Kamala Beniwal, who recently passed away, was the first woman minister of which Indian state? So, answer is Rajasthan. And last one is recently, which medical institution has won the 2024 Nelson Mandela Award for Health Promotion by World Health Organization? This is the Nimhans Bangalore. Okay. So, this is all about today's session. Uh, we are done with our uh, 10 current affairs for today along with the revision part and now at last I'd like to give you some homework and uh, today our homework is related to the government schemes here on the screen you can see seven questions please read each of the questions carefully and try to answer them in the comment section I'll be waiting for your answers and also before concluding let me remind you that these questions that these questions are part of our daily 20 MCQ series in the GK Today Android application. So if you want the PDF of the lecture, you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees. So now let's meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahatsana signing off.